And um, welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Wednesday the 15th of March with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Obviously, markets are still a bit fragile after all the banking dramas over the last few days, but there was a positive session in the US with all the major indices higher, big tech outperformed, and some calming in the financial sector which saw a lot of the regional banks which was slammed the previous day, recovering to some degree. But as I said, still caution there. We also had some inflation numbers which came in around expectations, which was good news for the markets. I think there was a little bit of a concern there might be a bit hot. US futures are fairly near neutral in early Asian trading and Asian indices are following that strongly US lead. The ASX is up just over 0.3%, but off the highs of the session, as some caution remains. Uh, European equity futures are also pointing to a cautious open in the VIX. Did test four month highs yesterday, but has pulled back over the course of the last few hours. US dollar index continues to look under pressure, hit monthly lows. It's fairly neutral in Asia today, as is most of the FX market. Very difficult to find a clear chart that says sentiment may be changing in any pair. Gold is holding on to 1900 after the previous day's surge. A little bit of a pullback. Likewise with copper holding over a key level at $4. And oil continues to look weak. Bitcoin, it was very choppy yesterday, made its way up to over 26,000, but pulled back from the highs, but still over 24,000 in today's trading as markets get over the profit taking that occurred and decide whether there's any more upside in this. Uh, today's data, we've got the Bank of Japan minutes already out, Chinese retail sales and industrial production numbers already out as well. Uh, Euro industrial production later, and tonight we've got US retail sales and PPI data, the highlights. The latter, to be honest, is probably one of the most important data points of today, although it doesn't receive as much airplay simply because it reflects business inflation. A couple of charts. A US yen is probably the most interesting, I guess, uh, with that US dollar weakness. You can see this key level at the pivot of 134. A breach of that possibly give it a 8 to 10 tip pip space if it does breach that. Could see it down to test S1, but not there yet, not ready to move, but one worth keeping an eye on later. We may even get a bounce back up to 135, I guess, during the course of the day. Uh, but I think we may get stuck in a little bit of a range now until European Open, if we're completely honest about it. One of the outperformers on the ASX is undoubtedly zero. We referenced this as a chart of the day a couple of days ago on a separate video. But you can see there it's trading towards the highs of the day to a level that hasn't been hit since August 2022. After this nice earnings gap here, breaching the 200 MA, got stuck a little bit around this 87.36, but didn't drop off like a lot of the other stocks in this sector. So a really nice push through today and looking pretty strong. One that looks ripe to go. And you can see volume is fairly high for this stage in the day. We are in a volume uptrend if we look at this. And if it turns green, that's above average volume. And it looks as though it will do that before market close. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.